the title for the show is it's, it's very simple. The, the, it's the time of year that the show is on. We've had three shows back to back where the gallery has been um, artificially lit and, and in a dark space and, and this show is about exuding colour, a bit of glamour and it's three artists that I've, I've long admired. Um, an MFA graduate from a few years ago from Glasgow School of Art in Zoe Williams um, presenting her, her film Drench which she showed at the Glue Factory but also a new work that we commissioned where she, she filmed um, an interior at Hospital Field House in Arbroath and then a series of works that she's made in DCA's print studio. We're also showing Claire Stevenson, who has actually presented work at DCA twice before in one of the very first shows at DCA called Beyond, when she was a very recent graduate from DJ CAD. And then on the occasion of our 10th anniversary, I included Claire in the, in the exhibition, The Associates. Um, she's reprised a work from 2011 with martini glasses, um, um, wooden, wooden sculptures made actually in the DCA workshop in, inspired by the silhouette of a martini glass and the colour that's painted on them resembles creme de menthe cocktails. It's, it's enigmatic and I think goes well, so well with the lady you've just heard from, um, Maripol. Maripol is someone that I've been aware of for over 30 years because she, um, she styled Debbie Harry, she styled Madonna and Grace Jones and all of these iconic people and then then you find out that she took some of the the best Polaroids um, of, of people like Klaus Nomi, James Chance, John Lurie, Evan Lurie, um, Vincent Gallo and her her role in what we understand visual culture to be um, in, in an almost 40 year career is is something that's very inspiring. Well, actually, I'm not a photographer. I don't call myself a photographer because I, even though I have this mechanical thing like your beautiful Canon, um, I'm a Polaroid artist, which is different. Um, I know how to manipulate a Polaroid much more than I would know how to manipulate. I do have a Leica, but I never use the pictures. I just shoot and shoot because it's convenient, you know. It's not a big format one. It's compact. It's great. Polaroid is more difficult now to get around films and the emulsion is not the same, the development takes forever, you have to shield them right away, otherwise they lose everything, so it's not an easy tool. But back then it was an easy tool. Actually, uh, nothing has changed since I was a student in uh, Beaux-Arts in France because when you're a student, they make you uh, touch everything. You know, you learn photography, you learn architect architectural design, you learn painting, uh, sculpture. You have to do a little bit of everything that's part of your history. So uh, I ended up being very uh, keen on films and I've ever since I've done the same thing, film, fashion, photography, and drawing. Nothing has changed. Uh, what they're gonna see is, uh, it's a mix of, uh, it's kind of a little retrospective, but it's whatever I transform. So Polaroid becomes art because they're being compiled into those panels. Uh, clothes, where you have the art on the clothes, jewelry who are like sculpture, lines who are my drawings and, and just uh, and uh, self-portrait, the inner soul. So they're gonna see that. I never had uh, clothes or jewelry in, in my shows, they mainly were photography. You have designers going in museums these days because clothes are craftsmanship. But in my case, it's, not, it's more about the ideas of putting art on the clothes. Oh, yes, no, we should add that I have a window with my music because I sing. I, I write poetry and they became songs and I have a producer in France called Leonard Lassery. So if you go in the first window case, you're going to see the calendar box and all these drawings are part of a month. We made a calendar box for the music. So let's go and hear it. <laughs> 